WrestleMania only being 50 days away right now, the card is starting to be leaked. Now the card's been starting to get leaked for about a month now, but these matches have pretty much been set in stone backstage. The WWE does not want you to know they're happening, but I have all of them listed for you. So let's get started. First one is John Cena versus The Undertaker. Now right now you're probably thinking, I don't believe you, it's never going to happen. But on Monday Night Raw, if you listen to the promo he cut about WrestleMania, he said, WrestleMania is a time of year where legends come back from the dead, and if he did not win the chamber match, he would have no opponent. That was such a subtle hint to his match against Taker that I was texting two people at once, and neither of them caught that hint but me. So that was such a subtle way of him saying, yeah, this match is going to happen, we're just not giving it to you quite yet. Next is one that we've known for over a year. I made a video about this about five days before WrestleMania 33 last year. Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. Roman's gonna win the chamber. It's pretty damn obvious that he's going to win this thing at this point. So yeah, Roman versus Brock, we all knew it was going to happen. Next is this year's Royal Rumble winner, Nakamura. He will be facing AJ Styles. As of this moment, there's no plans on AJ dropping the belt, although Dolph Ziggler going to Fastlane into this main event picture makes me wonder if AJ is going to drop the belt to Dolph for the same exact time. No offense, Dolph. I've loved you your entire career. I don't want to see AJ versus Nakamura. AJ versus Nakamura is a match that we all want to see. Next one kind of comes as a surprise, but it's going to be Miz versus Braun Strowman. Now going into this, Braun has no opponent headed towards WrestleMania. He doesn't really have a feud with anyone but Elias, which... No offense, I love Elias, I just don't think he's uh, up to that main event caliber as Braun Strowman has to be right now. So Miz vs. Braun, gonna be the Continental Championship match. Obviously Braun's gonna win this match, I mean poor Miz, but yeah, Braun's gonna win that one. Next is the Andre the Giant Battle uh, Memorial match that they've had every single year since WrestleMania 30. Now the reason I put this on here is because it's rumored that Goldberg is entering the match and is going to win it. Yes, he's going into the Hall of Fame two nights before WrestleMania. Wouldn't it be awesome to end your career winning a battle royal right after you go into the Hall of Fame? That'd be a little cool. I don't know for sure if Goldberg's going to be in, but I've seen it leaked three times in the past week. So at this point, kind of believing he's going to be inside that uh, battle royal match. Next is the other Royal Rumble winner, Asuka. Right now, it is set that she's going to face Alexa Bliss from Raw, and as of right now, there's no opponent name for Charlotte. So Charlotte's off my list because I can't find anything for her. Same with Seth. Seth was supposed to face Jason Jordan, but with this injury, he is out of the question. Kurt Angle was supposed to have a match against Triple H, but that apparently got nicked for a different match. It's going to be coming up quick on my list. But as of right now, Kurt Angle has no opponent. Shane has no opponent. Seth has no opponent, Dean has no opponent, but I think he's not coming back to after WrestleMania. So there's a lot of people that still have no opponents heading into WrestleMania. Now, speaking of Triple H, this is where the match comes into play. This is a ginormous match if they can make this happen. This will honestly probably sell out the rest of the tickets to WrestleMania. And that is, if it's going to really happen, Triple H and his wife, Stephanie McMahon, versus Ronda Rousey and The Rock. Now this match I want to see because I love Steph, I love Triple H. I don't really have a say about Ronda Rousey and The Rock versus Triple H, that rivalry was amazing in the 90s and the early 2000s. So I'm completely okay with them revamping that rivalry for WrestleMania. And I kind of hope this match happens honestly because that will be such a high caliber match going into WrestleMania. Now the last two matches haven't one is kind of set up to happen, the other one is not set up whatsoever so far. So I'm thinking it's going to be set up after the uh, Fastlane pay-per-view, and that is The Club versus The New Day. Right now, The Club has nothing for WrestleMania, and The New Day have nothing for WrestleMania. And honestly, that would be a perfect match to have both big uh, groups from Raw and SmackDown go at it. I would love to see the rivalry going to WrestleMania. The entrances would be phenomenal, I think. So, as of right now, that's the only plans that people have found leaked for the club and the New Day. And the last match that we have leaked for this year's WrestleMania is one that is going to set up for it at Fastlane. That is Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn. 
Thank you, Vince, for finally giving us this damn match after two years of us begging for it. Give it to us on one pay-per-view and one NXT show, but it needed to be at WrestleMania. And this year, so far, it's going to happen. I am beyond stoked that this match is pretty much set it's going to happen. But that is this year's WrestleMania 34 card leaked as of this moment. If you know any matches that I do not know, please put it in the comment section down below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe because there's always more to come.